Welcome to Computer Science 320, 2014 Winter 2, Midterm 2 Practice Problem Screencast. We're working on problem 4.3 here. Use the master theorem to give a theta bound on this related recurrence. T2 of n is equal to 2 T2 of n over 4 plus Cn. So this is not the same recurrence that we were working on above. Uh, we are supposed to use the master theorem on it, so I will just assume you really wouldn't have to state this, but I'll just assume uh, t of 1 is equal to 1. So reasonable base case. Now, you may not have the master theorem memorized. I may not have the master theorem memorized either. But I do know one thing. We expect something of the form t of n is equal to a t of n over b plus f of n. So in this case, we have a equal to 2 b equal to 4, and f of n equal to c times n. By the way, does it matter that it's t2 rather than t? No, that's just like renaming a variable. We've renamed the function. Big deal. OK, so I do know that log base b of a is important. And if you watch the screencasts on problem 2, you've already seen why that is. What is the log base b of a? Well, it's the log base 4 of 2. Well, 4 is 2 squared, so what power do we have to raise 2 squared to to be, have it be equal to 2? That would be 1 half, so we're going to be taking the square root. OK, so now we know this critical value, 1 half. And we're going to end up comparing f of n uh, to n to the 1 half. And f of n, obviously, is little omega of something bigger than n to the 1 half, because it's big theta of n to the 1. So we know f of n is in big omega of n to the 1, and 1 is greater than 1 half. So that's going to tell us which case we're in. I'm just going to zip all the way back up to the top and remind myself which case that is, and check to see whether I need to work on the regularity condition for that case. So we'll just jump all the way back up to the top to the master theorem. And we are in this case. So we have f of n is in omega n to the c. We have that c is greater than log base b of a. So we do need to pass the regularity condition. And I'm just going to say c times n, close to the simplest function that we're going to deal with, it does indeed pass the regularity function. So uh, this won't be a problem. But I'll go ahead and write it down, down below anyway, just so we can do a complete run. So our regularity condition is a f of n over b has to be less than or equal to k times f of n for some appropriate k less than 1. Uh, sorry, less than or equal to 1, I believe. So a is 2, b is 4. So we're looking at 2 times f of n over 4. Well, f of n over 4, that's just going to be c times n over 4. Over here, f of n, that's just c times n. We don't know what k is, but we want to fill it in with something so that this will be less than or equal to. So 2c of n over 4, well, 2c of n over 4, that's just cn over 2. So 1 half will work quite nicely here. And that is going to satisfy the regularity condition. So we're fine applying the master theorem. I hope we would be, since it says use the master theorem. Uh, and we just need a theta bound now. Is this the leaf case, the root case, or the balance case? It's clearly not the balance case. And it turns out it is the root case. So we're going to be in theta of f of n, which is theta of n. And that's our answer. <laughs> 